I'm your tour guide to help you navigate your insulin journey. Insulin's role in the body. Insulin is a hormone made in a working pancreas. Insulin acts like a key. It unlocks the doors to your cells so that the sugar in your blood can enter the cells to provide nourishment and energy. When insulin works as it should, it keeps your blood sugar at a safe, healthy level. When there is not enough insulin in the body, like with people living with type 1 diabetes, or there is resistance to the body's insulin, like people living with type 2 diabetes, the sugar can't get into the cells and the blood sugar level stays high. Insulin is an important medicine for people with type 1 diabetes and for some people with type 2. Without it, the blood sugar gets too high and causes damage and sickness. This leads us to how insulin is provided. Insulin is packaged in plastic handheld pens and glass vials. Your doctor needs to order pen needles to go along with the insulin pen. The needle screws to the top of the pen and is to be used once with your insulin injection. Each time you need a dose of insulin, you put a new pen needle on the insulin pen. The pen itself is good for 28 days or until the insulin inside runs out and a new pen is needed. For insulin vials, your doctor needs to order insulin syringes. Syringes are for one-time use and should never be shared. Tiny needles and injecting into fat help the insulin injection process to be painless. The vial can supply your insulin for 28 days or until the insulin inside runs out and a new vial is needed. Let's talk about the different types of insulin. There are three major types of insulin. The type of insulin that works quickly to help you at mealtimes is called bolus insulin. It's very important for you to take this medication before you start eating. Getting in the habit of injecting your bolus insulin before a meal, 10 to 15 minutes for rapid acting or 30 minutes for short acting, will help your body use the insulin and prevent your blood sugar from going too high or low. The type of insulin that works throughout the day to keep your blood sugar stable between meals is called basal insulin. This kind of insulin works like a leaky faucet throughout the day and night. It constantly and slowly delivers small doses of insulin to keep your blood sugar steady while you sleep and between meals. The third type of insulin is a combination of the fast-acting and the long-acting insulin. To learn more about the way your prescribed insulin works, please go to www.bmc.org insulin. Your diabetes care team will help you to understand more about your insulin. Now let's look at how to store your insulin. Once the seal is broken on your insulin pen or vial, the insulin can be used for 28 days and stored at room temperature. Never store your insulin in the car, next to a window, or in places where temperature cannot be controlled. If you fill a prescription with more than one pen or vial of insulin, store the extra ones in the refrigerator, not the freezer. If the insulin gets too hot or too cold, it will no longer work as expected. A new pen or vial should be started. Now let's look at how insulin should be injected. Insulin needs to be injected into fatty tissue under the skin, not the muscle. The needle needs to be inserted straight into the skin at a 90 degree angle. Recommended places include the stomach, outer thigh, buttock, and the back of the upper arm. It's important to not overuse any area of the skin. The distance between one injection site to another should be at least one half inch or an index finger apart from the previous injection site. When injecting in the stomach, avoid injecting in the two inches surrounding your belly button. If you develop hard lumps under your skin where you are injecting, you need to move to a different area. Show your doctor any changes in your skin Bruising can happen and is normal. Another side effect of insulin may be that you experience hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. To learn more about hypoglycemia and how to treat it, please go to www.bmc.org slash hypoglycemia. Now let's review some rules for needle safety. Your lancets, pen needles, and syringes are not to be shared and are for one-time use only. Do not leave pen needles on your insulin pen. 
This can leak your insulin or allow air to enter the pen. Do not pre-fill your syringes. When you are done with an injection, put used needles into one of the following. An FDA-approved Sharps container or a Sharps container you make on your own by using an empty laundry detergent container made of thick plastic. Don't use glass bottles, plastic water bottles, milk jugs or cartons, or soda cans. Write Sharps Biohazard Do Not Recycle on the container. When the container is two-thirds full, screw the lid on tightly and tape with duct tape. To learn more about how to safely dispose of needles in Massachusetts, please go to www.bmc.org slash insulin. Each state has different rules. Insulin is prescribed because it is the right medication for you to manage your blood sugar. Your diabetes care team will ask you questions and check your blood sugar to make sure you get the safest and most effective doses of insulin. Talk with your team about your questions and concerns about insulin or needles. They are there to help you.